when I was reflecting on my 18 plus years in education and trying to decide what I wanted to focus this talk on today, um, I decided to focus on my three R's. My three R's are respect, reliability, and relationships. My first R is respect. We need to foster a mutual respect with our students. Think about someone that you respect. What qualities does that person possess that make you respect him or her? Those are the same qualities that our students are looking for in us. One way that we can earn our students' respect is by providing a warm, safe, inviting classroom for them to come into. Another way that we can earn their respect is to uh, be fair and reasonable. Students always want things to be fair. And another way that we can earn their respect is by showing them that we are human. And if we make a mistake, we need to own up to that mistake and show them how we correct a mistake. And when we're doing all of these things while we're trying to earn this respect from our students, we need to be sincere because students can spot fake the minute it walks through the door and you can't fool them. My second R is reliability. Our students need us to be in the classroom every day. They need us to do what we said we were gonna do when we said that we were going to do it. You may be familiar with the book Visible Literacy for Learning by Douglas Fisher, Nancy Frey, and John Hattie. And what you may not remember from that book is the research they did on teacher credibility. Teacher credibility ranks number four out of 150 influences on student achievement. Number four, that's huge but it makes sense. Think about someone that you don't really trust. When they tell you something, you don't really believe them. The same thing is true of our students. If our students don't trust us, they're not going to learn from us. Every day that our students walk into our classrooms, they make a choice as to whether or not they are going to learn from us. I'm gonna say that again. They make a choice as to whether or not they are going to learn from us. And if they see us as someone who is credible, someone who is reliable, they are going to make that choice to learn from us. My third R is relationships. And as you know, any good relationship is kind of built on respect and reliability. And in teaching um, invisible learning, um, they found that, respect, that student, positive student-teacher relationships ranked number 12 out of 150 on, on student achievement. So some easy ways to build a relationship with your students is to attend their extracurricular activities. If you go to a ball game or a dance recital or a band concert, your students will see you there and they will form some bonds with you instantly. That happened with me um, with some of my baseball players uh, last fall and I went to a couple of their games and then every game after that, are you gonna be there? Are you gonna be there? Yes, I'll try to be there. You know, then they moved to basketball. Are you gonna be there? Are you gonna be there? And super easy way to make connections with kids. Before our students can learn reading, writing, and arithmetic from us, they need to respect us, see us as reliable, and have built a strong relationship with us. The best thing about all of these things are they're free. We don't need anybody to buy us a program to teach us how to be a good person. So once you have your students respect, once they see you as reliable, and once you have that good relationship with them, there is no limit as to what they can learn from you.